Hey guys, Dan Buchan back here again, and welcome to day 13 of my Shopify A to Z training series. So, from point A to point Z, or from basically lesson 1 to lesson 12, we went through the basics of setting up a Shopify store and little tips and tricks in between. So today I'm actually going to kind of backtrack a little bit to when we were setting up our products. So I actually went ahead today and I found a very, very great app, thanks to my good friend Neil, who that um actually lets you customize the product page any way you want. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you a live demo of how we're going to be able to take um, a very, very standard product page. So let's go ahead and check out our website, right? So let's say we want to change this around, right? So this is the, the product page as it is. Very, very basic, very, very bland, you know. Well, we don't have a description yet, but I'm assuming you would have a description in here. But um, other than that, it's very, very basic. So we're going to go ahead, we're actually going to try to uh, edit it and try to make it um, a little bit more advanced and a little bit uh, more unique. So let's go ahead and let's go, oh, bleh, let's go over to our Shopify dashboard. From here, we'll go into apps. Now, um, I already installed the app. It's called Hyper Visual. All you would have to do is go into um, the Shopify App Store, look it up, and go ahead and download it. It does cost $10 a month, but it does come with a 15-day trial. So you can go ahead, you can play around with it before you pay anything. If you like it, go ahead, pay the 10 bucks. If you don't, whatever, you're not losing anything. So without further ado, we're actually not going to go into apps. We're actually going to go into our products. So first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the product that we want to edit. So again, say we want to go ahead and let's actually do this t-shirt, right? So if you remember, this is from our um, t-shirt episode where I taught you how to go ahead and hook up um, a print on demand t-shirt service and how to create t-shirts like this and, and uh, sync them to your shop. So now we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to edit the uh, the product page. So we're going to go ahead, click right here in apps, and we're going to go ahead and press edit hyper visual page. So from here, we're brought onto the hyper visual dashboard. So as you can see, it has, you know, our let's get started page, whatever. So this is basically going to work exactly like click funnels. If you're familiar with that, if you're not, it's basically a drag and drop um, page builder. So we're literally going to go ahead and press this little button and let's go ahead and do, let's start with the heading, right? So what were we, what were we doing? We were doing the, um, I love tea so matcha t-shirt, right? So like, do you love tea? So, matcha, right? So just a very general header. And you can see already, this looks a lot better than, um, you know, this submarine teen fuser on the side and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and let's continue with this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make that lowercase this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do, do you love tea so matcha? And then we can go ahead and let's say we wanna do something like this. So we can do a two column split where the first column will be an image, right? So we can go ahead into product images and select the product that we want. Um, now let's go ahead and let's scroll down till we find our shirt, right? Then over here, we can go ahead and add text. So we'll be like, um, share your love of matcha with the world, right? And we'll be like, Actually, let's go ahead. Can we make this any smaller? No, I don't think so. So, um, share your love of matcha. Let's go ahead and just make that one line like that. And then we'll go ahead and be like, order now, right? And then we'll be like, order. Whoops. Order. Um, okay. Perfect. So then we'll go ahead and also what we can do is we can go ahead and change the column size. So say we want the t-shirt to be a little smaller, write the text a little bigger or vice versa. We can go ahead and do that as well. So it's very, very easily customizable. And it looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. I actually really like it like this background. We can change the background of the actual um, row right here. We can change the button, the button settings. So like where you would want to link the button to what size the text is in the button, what text color, what bu button color, and also the layout. And again, this is where we just add then we can also go to text. Okay, so we actually can change the um, change the size. So let's go ahead and make that extra large. And text size, we'll make that large. Um, text align, center, perfect. Text position, top per, or middle, right? Perfect. 
um, headline color. Let's go ahead and make that a little darker. And I'm just gonna do. I'm just doing this basically to show you um, exactly how customizable all of this is, right? So look at that. It just made that bold, made that stand out a lot more, made it look a lot better. So right now this is our page. So we can go ahead and do the same thing. So now, okay. So check it out. You can also install a video too. Let's see what more does. So two columns with text and image. Three columns with image and text. Four columns. Three columns. Four columns. So we can do. So we can do here, we can go ahead and do two columns as well. We'll do text on this side this time and image on this side, right? So then what we can do is go ahead and upload an image. So let's go ahead and select. Um, let's select like this beige one right here, right? So whatever. Um, let's go ahead and also the layout. So we're going to do the same thing, right? Because it was 70 30, I believe. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead with the text and we're going to write, um, so we'll write like available in, what was it? It was like six plus colors, I think. Six plus colors. Find the one that looks perfect on you. All right, and then we'll go ahead and make this bold again. And then remember what we did, we did the uh, headline. So we're going to go ahead and make that black and also make the headline extra large, the, this medium. Um, and then we'll go ahead and order now. So then we'll do the same thing. Um, actually, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to do order now. And then for this, we'll be like, Share your love of matcha with the world. If you can't tell by now, I'm extremely indecisive. So I guess we're going to stick with this one then. So again, it automatically gets rid of that second text field, as you saw. So it bumps the button up. So it looks very, very nice. Um, let's go ahead. Let's make this black as well. So we'll press OK. Um, <clears throat> check that off. Awesome. So now this is our page so far. So what can we do next? Next, if you know, say we have a nice little video about matcha, we can go ahead, add a video, paste um, a YouTube URL. So let's go ahead, let's go over to YouTube real quick. And then we'll just search like matcha tea. So real quick, perfect. So how to make matcha tea, right? Whatever, take this, copy video, the, copy the video URL, paste that in there, press OK, and awesome. Let's actually go ahead and let's change the layout. So, max width zero to disposable. Um, no, okay, that's not what we want. Visible on devices. Yes, we want it visible on all devices. However, I want to make it a little bit smaller. So let's try to do ten. Let's see what happens. Okay, so let's do one hundred, one thousand. Perfect, a thousand. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna stick with a thousand. That seems like a nice screen size. Um, so then we have a video, and then we can go ahead and actually do this as well. So we can go ahead and type something like this. So we can be like, learn more about matcha tea below, right? Again, text color will do black, um, and that's pretty much it. So check it out. So we have. Um, do you love tea so matcha, right? We can actually even go one step further. Let me go ahead and use unsplash.com. Um, if you guys haven't heard of this yet, it's a very, very good website to get royalty free images from. They're all HD from very talented uh, photographers. So I would definitely recommend using this. So let's go ahead and search matcha. See what we get. Nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and search tea then. You know, just some basic tea. Um, so I'm trying to look for something that resembles matcha even just a little bit. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. So you can do something like this. Perfect. So let's go ahead. Let's download this. Um, and then we'll go ahead back into our editor. And what we'll do is we'll actually create, uh, check it out, a hero banner. So, wow, that looks really, really cool. So I love matcha tea. Wait, right? I love, oh, I love tea so matcha. And then we can go ahead and get rid of this as well. And then button would be like, 
now we'll get rid of the button as well so we'll go ahead and do background let's go ahead and change the image so we'll go into my images drag and drop that really quick very very easily and check that out that looks awesome so we'll go ahead and background image transparency let's go ahead and do uh, like 40 awesome vertical space let's go ahead and add a little bit make at 140 um, now do we have the option to align our image let's see image quality highest of course um, okay so I guess we don't but that's okay because this is still look this still looks really really nice so we'll go ahead and we'll do I love tea so matcha um, do you love tea so matcha? Share your love of matcha with the world. Order now. Available in six plus colors. And this is a really, really great layout when you're trying to show off multiple features of your product. So you would have, you know, product picture one, product, um, product benefit one. Then you would have product picture two, product benefit two, product picture three, product benefit three. Right. So you would literally go. Um, this side, this side, this side, this side. So again, this is really, really great app to again go ahead and show off all those great features that you have for your products. Um, now again, this is just something I'm making for an example. So I could tell, I could definitely go on and on about matcha tea, right? About these T-shirts, whatever. But I just want to show you the full capability of this plugin. This looks really, really nice. So then after this, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and actually put in the product. So let's go ahead and press product. Um, and if I recall correctly, it was the I Love Tea So Matcha unisex t-shirt. Perfect. Let's see if we can edit this. So text color, um, black button, add to cart. Yes. Background, no background color layout. Okay, whatever. So this is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and let's save this page and let's actually see it as a live page, shall we? Um, Okay, so no, this is the wrong thing. So let's go ahead and save this and then see the live page. And okay, hold on. Hyper visual page save. Um, so let's preview this actually. Okay, this is really weird. So I guess let's let it load. Please wait, loading preview. Okay, so I guess when you initially put it onto your store and make it live, it is going to take a little bit for it to, um, you know, to, what's it called, to kind of show instead of the Shopify um, thing. So I guess it's going to go ahead and import it into the Shopify code or whatever it's doing right now. So we're just going to go ahead and give it a minute, um, let it do its thing, and then we'll be able to go ahead and actually see the preview that we just built. So it's going to be really, really cool. So let's see, still nothing. This page may reload several times. Let's go ahead and let's actually go back to our dropship tutorial. Let's see if this actually worked for our um, t-shirt. Okay, so it has not worked yet. However, it is just constantly loading, which is strange. Okay, let's stop too. Nope, still going. Oh, here we go. So our pages won't show until um, Hypervisual actually comes in and installs the app for us. So I guess we go ahead into this little bubble right here. Oh, please let me know if you need a hand with anything. So I'll be like, hey, Toby, I need help installing the page on my store. Oh, hi, we're in Europe, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, okay, so pretty much the issue is then that we can't see the um, the finished thing until they actually go in and put in, I guess, custom code into our source into our source files and actually allow access through through again our custom code through our custom source but that does not mean you shouldn't go ahead and play around with this because as you can see I built a pretty pretty nice um, page with literally um, like 10 minutes of work so it does look really really nice It has a bunch of benefits because you can customize your page to your liking 
like to extremely to your liking so you can, you can literally customize it in any way you want which is really really cool and the feature that Shopify has never had before and ultimately I must say it's probably one of the biggest features that Shopify was lacking um, so again guys this is um, this has been how to customize your page your cut your uh, product page to look any way you want now I believe if we actually go into apps right if we go into um, hyper visual You'd be able to create a home page out of this too. So check it out, I guess. Create a new landing page, right? Um, okay, no. So this isn't for a home page. This is for something else. So pretty naked presents landing page, product page. So this is goes. This goes back to what I was talking about. So you see how this. So this is how it looks when you actually go ahead and uh, implement it into your store. So you have your product here, and then down below you have everything that explains it. And again, this is what I was talking about, where you have this image here, and then the d explainer here, and then you have this image on the left, and this explainer here, and then this image on the right, and the explainer on the left. So it follows a very very nice uh, design pattern, and it looks very appealing to the eye. Now I guess they opted into have their um, their things show up before all of this whereas I actually went ahead and I did everything first and then the product to order the product was on the bottom of the page but again you can see proof right here that this program actually works and that um, I guess all you have to do is have them go in and install it for you um, so here let me see the DIY instructions so you go in insert a code snippet include hypervisual literally you would just include one code snippet and that's it step three test visit any of your product pages and add this to, onto the end of the web address pre-flight now rinse and repeat for pages you can stop now if you want to create beautiful product pages but hypervisual can do much more than that if you put the same embed code in the appropriate place in templates page liquid you'll be able to custom design your existing Shopify pages as well to set up your first hypervisual page use the buttons from inside your hypervisual dashboard okay so this is really really cool so again all you really have to do is include one snippet of code and this basically tells you exactly how to do it so you would go in through here you would do it and you would install the code and I guess it would work on your website so again guys this has been how to customize your product page and how to create a landing page on Shopify um, I hope you found a lot of use from this because I certainly have. I know I'm going to be using this for all of my stores from here on in. Um, and again, I would highly recommend that you do as well because the ability to customize your product pages is super underrated. It's a very, very nice, uh, unique thing to have that will set you apart from a lot of other Shopify stores. Because as you know, everybody, you know, they're running the same theme. They have the same apps, blah, 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 blah. But you can't have the same basically design taste so again it would be unique to your store which is really really cool and would further cement uh, the brand recognition that you are looking for with your customer base so again guys okay so this is like the third time I'm cutting out but um again thank you guys so much for watching this has been how to create uh, unique product pages and landing pages on Shopify I hope you guys have found a lot of use out of this as I have um, you know I wish you all the best of luck and again thank you so much for watching